Hello everyone, today's lesson is Investigation 3, Measuring and Drawing Angles with a Protractor. So here the protractor is already given to us, but I'm going to show you how to line up a protractor with an angle. Okay. So I know this protractor is pretty small, I can make it, there we go, make it bigger. So when I line up a protractor with a set of angles, I'm going to use this, these crosshairs right here, where we see this little cross. Those crosshairs need to go on the vertex of my angle. Okay, so you can see I can line it up just like that. And then when I measure an angle, one of the sides of the angle has to be along the bottom or zero mark on the protractor. So I'll show you what that looks like, but that's kind of how you line it up. All right, so with these angles, we have angle AOC. So first we need to find it. So I have, so I'm going to take, I'm going to start at A, go to O, and then go to C. So the angle I'm looking at is this angle right here. Okay. So to measure this angle, I'm going to look at where angle C is pointing at. Oops. So if we follow the line, you can see that the line goes through right here. Let me get a little bit clearer. All right. And then we have a problem. There are two sets of number on my protractor. I've got 10 and 20 and 170 and 160. And I need to know what numbers to look at. We can figure this out by looking at the angle. Is this an acute or obtuse angle? Well, this is an acute angle because it's small. So I know it cannot be 160 or 170 because that would be an obtuse angle. So my answer has to be between 10 and 20. And so I'm going to take it. I'm going to start at 10. I'm going to count till I get to this line. We have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So angle AOC is equal to 15, 15 degrees. So we measure this in degrees. Okay. So let's do the next one. AOE. So first I need to find it. AOE. Okay. So it's this angle here. And I'm going to follow line E up through to see what the angle is. Again, we look at the angle. Is it, a, is it acute or obtuse? Well, this is an acute angle. So I'm going to look at the smaller numbers. So it's going to be between 40 and 50. So I'm going to count from 40 until I get to the line. So 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. AOE is 45 degrees. Okay. All right, let's look at AOF. So AOF. Now, if you notice, this, these two lines are perpendicular, and F points right through 90 degrees, which is the same on both lines. So AOF equals 90 degrees. Okay, let's do one of the bigger angles. Let's do IOH. So we have IOH. Okay. Oh, sorry, let's do IOE instead. So I want a big angle. IOE. Okay. So again, we look at the angle first. This is a very large angle, so I know that it's obtuse which means I'm going to look at the bigger numbers. So this line goes right between 130 and 140. So I'm going to start at 130 and count. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So this line equals 135 degrees. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and practice drawing angles as a pro with a protractor. I'm going to go ahead and get that back out. Okay. 
So to draw angles using a protractor, the first thing I need to do is mark a dot that will be my vertex. And then I'm going to move my protractor on top of it. Okay. And then I'm going to draw a straight line that goes from my vertex to the zero mark. And it needs to be a straight line to make sure that this measures up correctly. Now the first thing it wants me to measure is a 30 degree angle. So I'm going to look and find the 30 degree mark on my protractor, which is here. Now I, of course, can't draw through my protractor. So I'm going to make a mark just outside of the protractor. I'll then move it and connect the line. Okay. So this should be about 30 degrees. So we're going to do it again. So I draw first my vertex and in a straight line. It helps to use the protractor. You can use the bottom if you need to to draw a straight line. Kind of like this to get at least close to a straight line. And then you move it so the crosshairs are on your vertex. This time I need an 80 degree angle, so I'm going to go up till I get to 80 degrees and put a dot, move my protractor, and connect the dots. It really helps to have a ruler. Okay, so this should be about 80 degrees. Okay, we'll do one more with the 110 degrees. So I make my dot okay, and draw my straight line. line up the crosshairs and find 110 which is over here. Move the protractor and connect the dots. That's 110 degrees. Now you can also go the other way. So let's say I wanted to put my vertex and line going that way. It's totally fine. I line it up and then again find 120. This time you'll notice I'm using the top number because it needs to be up two. Okay, move it and connect the dots. Okay. So that is how you use a protractor to measure and use a protractor to draw angles. There is one more thing I'd like to show you. I'm going to go ahead and draw an angle that's not on a straight line. So I'll show you what I mean. So let's say you want to measure an angle that goes this way. Okay. Well, I still need to line up the crosshairs with the vertex. So that's going to go here. Now, but notice that none, neither of these lines line up with my zero mark. So I need to rotate my protractor until one of them does, like this. So you can see now that this line goes through the number zero, okay, the zero and 180. So now I can measure how big this angle is by following the other line. Okay. This, if we turn sideways, you can see this is a small angle, so it's acute. So it is going to be between 70 and 80. So I'm going to take go to 80 and count down 79, 78. So this angle is 78 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to show that one more time. Draw a different angle. And we'll go this way. Okay. So I take my protractor and line up the vertex with the crosshairs and then rotate it my rotate my protractor until one of the lines lines up with the 180 and 0 line okay so it could either go this way or or I could turn it the other way 
So here we can see this is an obtuse angle, it's large. So my answer is going to be between 50 and 60. And it looks like that line's going to about 52. I know this is off the page a little bit, so let me move it. Oh, looks like my pen's not working. There we go. Scooch it over so you can see it a little bit better. Okay. And... There we go. So again, measuring this line. It looks like it goes to about 130, no, 129 degrees-ish, if I follow it through. 120 or 129 is about what this equals. Okay, and that's how you use a protractor. Thanks for watching.